What's up everybody? I'm out here in the Red River Gorge. It is late May. I'm doing a quick little overnight trip to test out some new gear. One of those new pieces of gear I got is a tarp tent rainbow lie one person tent. I actually came across this. Uh, it's kind of ironic. I was just cruising their website and I saw that there was a, this was one of the shelters they had and they didn't have any more available. They said they weren't making any until 2024. So I just kind of sent a quick email to Henry and a he actually said he had one more left that was a return from someone else and I went ahead and picked it up and it's my first time having it out here in the woods outside of the backyard so I'm gonna pull it out of the back here get it all set up and do a quick overview and see what it is real quick I wanted to show what the temp shits with here for a from tarp tent first up you get a little bit of a repair patch material here don't even patch material that's the shelter ships with bags the shelter this is the tent poles i opted for the i think this is the carbon fiber ones and tent stake bag i replaced them with msr groundhog so i believe it ships with four or six of the aluminum eastern stakes i can't remember but yeah that's what it comes with here's the tent all set up it took me about five minutes or so i think the total weight is about 22 or 23 ounces with the liner so i have two stakes here on the sides one on the back, I'll show you that in a second. One up here on the front of the vessel door. It's probably not set up perfect, but not bad for five minutes. Um, the doors roll back here, they have magnetic clips right there. They roll back and they clip on the side. Not enough vegetable space, it's probably a pack, maybe a pair of shoes. Also, this tent is able to be set up in freestanding mode. And what you would do is you would take your trekking pole, you attach them to these cups on the ends, either side here. And you're able to step it or set it up in freestanding mode. You still probably need to stake down the door, but in the back, well, you know, I haven't done that quite yet. Here's the back. And the other side. Got a little bit of a lean there. <laughs> I'm sure fiddling around with it, I can get a better pitch with it. But not too bad. Go ahead and get my, my sleeping system set up in there. Quilt and sleeping pad, all that, and see how much space we got. Here's a little closer look on the inside. The bathtub floor isn't all the way up because I don't have any tension on it. But here's the mesh on the inside I was talking to you about, and you can adjust it here. The elastic bands. And that goes all the way around. I have the liner in right now, so it attaches on the corners. And up here, and that's supposed to help with condensation. The idea is it hits the liner instead of dripping or sorry when it drips down it hits the liner instead of dropping onto you because this is a single walled shelter so again the mesh goes all the way around on the bottoms that helps with ventilation and it collects the condensation soon right out of the tent whenever it runs down the, the side walls here so i have my sleep set up in here already got my 40 degree enigma quilt this is a um, regular Y Neo Air X Light. I have the old cheapo trichology pillow. I'm gonna climb in here real quick. Get kind of room to deal with. I'm six foot. So, just to give you an idea. Put my feet in the back here. This is what we're working with. Not bad. As you'll probably know if you've seen any of my videos, I'm used to sleeping in the notch. This is uh, definitely a little bit more roomier than a notch. Again, it's a single wall shelter, so we'll see how the condensation is. And I'm kind of crazy with shelters. I buy them, sell them all the time. So we'll see if I actually keep this one. But it's kind of fun. Part of a uh, backpacking right? is having all the gear. But I am not touching the liner here at all. And again, it is a liner, so the idea is that your feet shouldn't be getting wet because the liner's going to catch all that condensation if you have any. But I can, my feet don't touch until I raise them up that high. So there's plenty of room for me. All right. It is day two. Got the tin all packed up. I just got it next to my pack here to give you kind of a size comparison to how big it is. Um, one of the things I do like about this tent is I'm able to put it horizontally in the top of my pack, inside my pack. 
I do put the poles on the outside, but it's real nice because I can just put this on the top of my pack, no problem, which I like to do. Stuff it in here. Oops. Anyway, you get the idea, and I'll cinch and buckle up the top. That looked a little weird with one hand. <laughs> it's flapping all over the place, so I'm just going to kind of show you what it looks like inside the pack. I just got to kind of adjust a little bit. It's poking out right here, but it does fit, which I like because I don't like my shelter hanging outside of my pack, like a lot of y'all, which I've done for a long time with a notch. I would just kind of put it on the side pocket or in the mesh pocket. And this is the uh, Z-Pax Art Call Ultra 60 liter. Got a little bit of a bigger pack now so I can carry a bear canister too for uh, trips out west. There you have it.